as you can see Red Dot 4.3 Beta 2 was released literally just 10 hours ago and today we are going to be checking it out because as you can see we do have some interesting enhancements and uh, features as well as uh, bug fixes and something that uh, has to do with the templates okay that we will also uh, uh, check out more specifically the export templates so first of all if you want to download this version you will go uh, to github okay and then you will uh, look for red dot engine basically over here you will just type in red dot and well you will find the, the corresponding repository of red dot engine and over here you will go to the releases page okay if not you can also uh, go literally to the to the to the official website red dot and here uh, download okay um so I'm going to press there on the releases and here we have it, okay? You can actually uh, pause the video right now and uh, actually read all the new stuff and book fixes, etc. But in my case, I will just go ahead and um, download uh, the version, okay? So we'll open up the assets and in this case, I will look for Windows 64. Um, here it is. I want the standard version. I do not want the, the mono version um okay here i have it and well when you extract these files you have the uh, the usual console and the executable that i'm going to be opening right away and well here we see this uh we have here a fail uh, of checking for updates i don't really know why that appeared uh let me go online again okay there it seems that everything is working as expected um and I will basically go ahead and here, for example, on my downloads, I will create here a new project. And this is a 4.3 beta uh, 2. Okay, exactly like that. And I will create and uh, edit the project. So here we are in the usual 3D environment. Uh, we are receiving no warnings over here, which is quite good because sometimes in, I think in previous versions, we used to receive here like a warning or something like that. Uh, that uh, of course it uh, wasn't supposed to be happening but well here we are and well everything uh, seems uh, to be working completely fine remember that until now the, the biggest difference is basically the uh, rebranding basically the changes um in the logo okay for example over here also over here in the application itself that says red dot engine okay um and they also say here that they have updated some stuff to uh basically say red dot instead of go dot. I don't really know if for example it has to do, for example, here the window that now says red dot engine. Um, but well, yes, now everything, it seems, uh, it seems that everything has been rebranded correctly. And before moving on uh, the export templates, I will super quickly just create a brand new to the scene. I will call it main and I will save it. Okay, so that just, we have a quick test of, of how red dot works. Um, I'm going to create yes, an empty script over there. I will zoom in a little bit. And I will, for example, just call here the uh, ready function. And I will print out hello red dot, for example. Then when I run this scene, and uh, we will have to give it just a couple of seconds until everything loads in for the first time. There we see the message. Then the second time it should actually be played much faster. Yeah, there we go. So yes, indeed, everything is working fine. Uh, so now when the export templates, as I explained, well, they provide here the explanations of how to do this, but well, um, I thought that it was also worth creating a specific video for this because it is quite important because of course, if you can't export your game, well, maybe it is something that a reason why you may not use an engine if you can't actually build your game or export your games. Um, because for example, if we go to project export, and for example, let's add uh, a Windows preset. it. Um, we see that no export template uh, found at the expected path. So for example, we can click here, manage export templates, and um, we have to install them from a file. Uh, so here is asking for a red dot export template file specifically. So let's see how uh, we, we could do this according to how red dot is explaining this. So, um, of course, besides having like the source code and the different versions for the different operating systems, at the top we have the templates for uh, the mono version and the standard version. So in my case, I will download the 
the zip for the uh, standard version it is a little bit heavy uh, close to one gigabyte but well let's just give it some time and um, while this is being downloaded let's also just uh, close this project okay uh, to avoid any problem because well we're going to actually loading some stuff inside of the of the application data thread so to avoid any kind of crash or anything like that it is better to have everything closed so now this is the zip the, that I've got. Um, oh well, th these are the, the files that uh, that we got. Okay, so as you can see, we see a lot of things over here. So uh, we have two ways of doing this. We can either unzip the template files directly in the export template folder, basically in this path, or we can firstly unzip it wherever we want and uh, put the, uh, the folder, okay, the unzipped folder into this location. Uh, either way, we do have to access this path that could be complicated for some people, so I'm also going to be showing that, but well, first, let's just right-click, and here, well, you will just have to extract this. Once again, it may take some time. And also, uh, just in case, uh, I will also copy and paste the, 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 these things from macOS, okay, just to make sure that everything is working correctly. Um... Oh, well, here, here, this was actually the project that that uh, I created a second ago, so I had to make sure that I don't confuse the folders as well. Uh, these two are the ones that I care about. Uh, the easiest way to go to this path would be to firstly copy it, so let's select it and press Ctrl C or uh, right click, copy, and then you can press Windows R, or if you do not see this, uh, you can. Uh, right click here on the taskbar no here you can let me check where it was over here on the windows icon and here press run okay it's, it's the exact same window let's paste there uh, this exact same path as you can see it's the exact same one and uh, here we are um now whatever what i really recommend you do is that you open a brand new file explorer um so you can right click on your file explorer click on file explorer I will go to my downloads and over here let's check that uh, I select the two corresponding uh, folders this one and this one and you can copy cut them whatever you want using these buttons over here or ctrl c or ctrl x if you want to cut and I will go to the export templates and paste them over there with ctrl v or also using here the paste icon so let's give it one second a second and well, Red Dot should now see all the release templates when you try to add one. So here I am. I actually got here the export preset, but I think that it was be, uh, because I wanted to add here a Windows desktop. And as you can see, I am literally receiving no error. So I will, just in case, uh, delete this template over here, this preset actually. And I will add a, a one for Windows. Ah uh, well, um, I haven't configured Reci Edit uh, to, to change the icon of the, of the builds, but well, I don't really care about that. That's something super easy to do and it's the exact same process as you would do in, the, in Godot. Um, so it's I believe that with, with the default options we are good to just export the project. Uh, I will put it yes inside here of the of the downloads. Uh, I will create a brand new folder, build, okay, and I will just save it over there. We received this warning um, to because Reci Edit wasn't found on the icon application. Uh, can't be modified unless we um, we implement Reci Edit. So well, that's not something key. And here we have the build, and we, we even have it with the new with the Red Dot icon, company name, Red Dot engine, so everything is updated correctly. And when we double click, well, in this case, <laughs> this has to do because uh, our project doesn't have any kind of main scene. So I will first display it over here, select current, and just to make sure that we can actually see something. Uh, let me add a, a label, red dot, for example, and let me make this uh, much bigger, something like 100, and I will put it in the in the middle of the screen, maybe something like that, and then I will just move this node maybe right here, okay? Uh, so now if I play over here, yes, I see that, and let's also make sure that our window uh, is set to canvas items and keep just make sure that everything uh, keeps the aspect. So once again, I will just go to export, Windows desktop, export project, and I will overwrite this, okay? So let's give it a second. We receive the same warnings, there is no problem. Let's go to build. 
and I've got here the executor and now it is being played and now we do see uh, the final game let's say that we have created as I showed you here, this version was released literally just 10 hours ago, so I am always uploading the latest news uh, about Red Dot, and I am also posting uh, Goda tutorials, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. See you in the next one, and bye bye.